hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is priscilla sorry if you're hearing any sound outside uh, there's construction going on so there may be some uh, noises in the background but anyway today i am here to so i feel guys i just tried to film my makeup video and i don't think i was in focus the whole time i felt like the video wasn't clear like it was a bit blurry so yeah anyway i was trying to film this look so Clearly, I'll probably try again. Let me know if you want me to film this look, but I can just show you what I used. I used for foundation, I used the Estee Lauder foundation, uh, and I'm rich, I'm the number rich mahogany, and really, that's the, more, that's, the di what's, that's the only different thing uh, in terms of my makeup routine. Anyway, so today I'm here, and I want to talk about uh, my, my experience uh, taking a John Maxwell coach, coaching class, you know. So when I was, Back when I was in Uganda, I had the opportunity to attend a John Maxwell coaching leadership, uh, put your dream to the test uh, coaching class. And oh my God, guys, I really did have so much fun. I have some of my notes on my phone as usual here. So I'll probably, I'll maybe, I'll be looking down every now and then. I need to get away of keeping my notes in front of me so that I look like I'm reading instead of looking down all the time. Anyway, so I did this John Maxwell uh, put your dream to the test class with, uh, with a John Maxwell certified coach. She is called Angela and uh, she, so when I was home, they, I saw an advert that was put, that was circulating on, on, uh, on WhatsApp and uh, there was, it was just about anyone who's interested in doing the John Maxwell coach, uh, call, sorry, please do reach out and let us know and stuff like that. So anyway, I reached out and of course it's on free. <laughs> so I paid, it was 500,000 Uganda shillings. Um, so I paid and guys, I think I can honestly say it's one of the best investments that I've done for myself this year. Of course, among other things, but this has, this was really one of, one of the best decisions I took this year in terms of my career and personal growth. So I, if you've watched my video on my values for 2020, it was more about, you know, development, personal development, growth, learning more about myself. And, you know, so I'll, of course, I'll, I have another secret that I'll probably share later on, on in terms of other steps that I've taken to, you know, to just learn to become more wholesome as an individual, as a woman, a black woman, a Ugandan woman. So, yeah. So I did this class. I, 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 it was an eight weeks class. I had thought I would probably vlog throughout, but you know, it was uh, super busy working from home and then also the course. So the course does require dedication. Like if, I think we used to have class every Thursday. It was virtual on Zoom, which was a really, really good thing. So I could be able to, to attend even if I was not really living in the city. So it was, it was so nice. But, okay. So we were, 10 students if i remember well yeah and it was you know across different ages across different time zones we had we had students coming from canada and you know people like people are really doing amazing things with their lives guys like <sighs> i was like i was super challenged and you know i'm i'm an extroverted introvert so I sometimes tend to keep quiet and just really learn and take in stuff. So that's how I was in the class most of the time. But of course, you of course, um, Angela would call on you to talk and they would ask you to like share your experiences and different stuff. And it was such an amazing experience. So in the when we start, they they so that they there's a book that you do. The book is a Put Your Dream to the Test by John Maxwell. And I had been looking for that book amazingly before the course, which is so surprising. So when I saw the course, I was like, oh, definitely, I must do this. I must do this because you know sometimes we have so many things we want to do, but sometimes you don't really know why you want to do them, how you know, like how they will work out. You, you don't count the cost and stuff like that. So in that class, they really did teach us about uh, what it means to pursue a dream. What is a dream? Is the dream yours? Like, you know, have you counted the cost? Like there's a price to pay. Not every good thing, does, nothing comes easy. Like the sacrifice, you're going to put in time, you're going to put in money. How, how far are you willing to go with it? And also if I, I mean, they, were, they, were, they would ask us questions like, does your dream only involve you? Like if it's, it has to be bigger than you, like, you know, so, Anyway, so they did ask us so many questions, and for me, I think uh, some of the questions that that uh, stood out for me is the question of what would I do 
if I had no limitations. So they, you know, like in the class, they, we would discuss different chapters every week, and we'd have it, we even had a workbook. And when the questions would ask were so reflective, so of course you have to do the work. You have to you have to sit by yourself and ask yourself the hard questions. But one of the very 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 profound things that I learned is that your dream is your dream. You know, and Angela helped us to, she was also very vulnerable with us and she was very open, like she was not coming off like I know, I miss know it all, you know, like, so she was also just sharing her own journey and her own um, experiences in pursuing her, her dream and the thing that she feels God has called her to do and things like that. And guys, eh? like the things I struggle with in terms of fear, imposter syndrome, uh, things like, Will like you know with my does my dream matter? Do the things I want to do really matter? Do they make a difference? And because of the same things that we really went through the class, and she was saying that sometimes we think a dream or like has to be coming up with a vaccine to stop COVID, like or maybe innovating, like the first African woman to innovate uh, a cure or you know something like that. But it doesn't have to be like that. You know, it's about putting the skills that you have to use and doing the best that you can. So for example, someone may be like, you're excellent at organizing people's homes. There was something, then we had a discussion about that and it could be that, no, that's your that's, that's your skill and you love to organize spaces, you love to organize people's lives and that can be your dream and you can be the best at it. You know, for example, look at people like Maria Kion, like she does organization for a living, like, you know, she has made a career out of that. For some point it could be talking. I love talking. <laughs> I love telling stories. I love, you know, so each one has to find what they like and you you do and you do that purposefully, you know. So it was a very, very nice. And then I think the other thing that they really, really did tell us about was release your family and your friends from the pressure to support your dream. Guys, this for me was the ish. Like, you know, so and I'd been seeing on Instagram and um, on the mid like just social media and the streets people talking about oh if you know if your family doesn't support your dream they don't you know if your friends and i'm like in that class eh, they bust that myth they said release like release your family release your friends from the pressure of and the sense of entitlement that you have to their support you know like if you start your business and they buy from you well and good if they don't well and good it's your dream it's not your mother's dream it's not your brother's dream it's not your best friend's dream like guys and i can assure you for me that was super it released me like it did release me and uh, my mom my mom like is super supportive of everything that we want to do not everything but most of the things we tell her to do like i wanted to pack my life and up and left and she's like very supportive of that but i know that it won't be like that for everything i want to do and uh, angela was like guys eh? move like it out take about to pressure move at like i for me eh? that for me really 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 did for me so I, I i'm in a space where i do the things that because i know they are my things you know like so if people come on board well and good if they don't it's okay it doesn't mean they don't love you it does not mean that uh, they are feeling a certain way about it no it simply means that they either don't get it or maybe it's not their thing like i mean who's why are you entitled to their support like and also you know just sort of I should do a full video about this because I saw it on someone's status. I was like, I don't know how I feel about that. I even had a discussion with one of my other friends about this whole idea of entitlement to support from people in your circle and things like that. Anyway, there was an issue of just reflecting back on your personal triumphs, you know, and how those made you feel. So it, that, I think for me that was also very nice because sometimes we like when you are trying to pursue something that you think you you know you're passionate about and you hit like a roadblock yes we are so quick to forget how like how excellent we are and we just focus on that one negative moment and th that becomes our reality so in the class one thing was they were telling us to focus think think back on a time when you were successful when you had a triumph in your personal or career life or whatever it is and you're like when i start to think i realized i have so many things guys in high school i was pathetic at math i passed mathematics with a c3 for me that was like yeah triumph you know 
so when I went through all my different stages in life and I realized I have had so many moments of triumph and just because probably I've had a failure in one area or another does not mean that that's my reality so I thought that was that was very that was very very profound and what I also liked about the class is that people were super transparent like very very vulnerable with each other and we just shared and you know but also the level of accountability guys <laughs> if you take this class if you take a, a class with a john maxwell certified coach better be ready to do the work like it's known for excuses so then they told us to also like sit and write who you are you know like who do you who do you think you are because if, if you don't know who you are then you end up doing things that are not necessarily yours like you take on people's dreams you take on like you know for example there's things that I know I this is who I am like I've made peace with me I'm Priscilla I'm like this I like makeup I like good stuff I like YouTube I like this I love human rights I'm a human rights practitioner I love justice that's me you know and I don't have to look a certain way because people feel like if you spark in certain spaces you must look a certain way you must act a certain way like there's no one size fit all you know so for me, I made peace with that. And I think also that class helped me to even make more peace because we sat and we, we, we had to write an essay, you know, about who we are. And it was just so nice, guys. If you've not done that, try it. Just get a pen or paper or a laptop and just type. Like, who do you think you are? You'll find, you'll find so many things that you, some, some that are not necessarily you. You know, sometimes we, we attach our identity to the things we do, like your job, uh, where you come from your name your family name you like you know but then it also just helps you to think through the to the core of genuinely does this does this really define me and then you find that sometimes you believe things about you that are not necessarily what you want like just because people have always said oh you're like you know, I used to say i'm loud when i was much younger and i honestly believed that i was loud but then as I grew older, I realized, but wait, I am actually extroverted introvert. Like I have my moments where I'm super extra, I'm in your face, I'm loud and everything. But then I need my time to just recoup and just be on my own and just do things that I like, you know. So I realized that at some point I had taken on an identity that was not necessarily mine. You know so and people do that to you they can put you in a box like and sometimes coming from a good place but yeah so that class also did that for me like it just helped me to think more about that and not to be ashamed of the things that i like and uh, the things that come to me natural you know so yeah i think if you've not if you are thinking about investing in um, in, in a class for your personal growth and just to help you figure out your life purpose and your dreams and whatever I would definitely do recommend checking out the John Maxwell um, course put your dream to the test by done by Angela I think a few also other coaches are doing it but I think I've only seen hers so I'll try to probably put, if I can find a poster I'll um, try to put it in the video here and you guys can see but it was such a lovely course like honestly honestly Angela if you're watching this Thank you so much for running that course it's it's life-changing and it has helped me to to just be bold like you know to be bold about my my dreams and to own them like banangi owning your dream you know like no one is coming to save you no one is coming to do these things for you like if you want to if you are, if you feel so strongly about a certain cause go for it like i really do feel strongly about certain stuff and i realized I've probably been waiting to do them in a much bigger way like but you know if you feel strongly about education start paying school fees for a young girl you know if you really are into uh, gender equality start doing something about that you don't need to wait for a huge platform to write that one ch life-changing book I think for me that's what that book that course did for me like you don't have to do big big things for that to be a dream a dream is something that you feel strongly about and you actually go out and do it the best way you can and when you bring people on your team it it takes its own life you know you don't have to say you want for example i told i was talking to a girl um i think a few weeks ago and she saw one of my videos and she inboxed me on instagram and she said i love the videos and i love youtube i love to do she has beautiful natural hair and she just is passionate about showing people how to style it and things like that and then she was saying, but you know, I've posted only two videos and I've, I've deleted them. Told her why. She's like, my channel is not growing. I'm like, who cares about numbers? Like, when you started, when you, when you, when you make, when you're shooting a video, you're not shooting about 
tell people a hundred people to see the video. No, you're shooting it because you do genu genuinely love to pass on information. You love to share. You love to show people how to do stuff. So basically, you love to teach. So do it. And those who will watch it will watch it. And that's not the definition of success. It's not about how many people watch it. It's about you having actually stepped out and done what you feel is right in that right moment. So, guys, I can't. I can't exhaust what I learned in that class but if you really 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 do want to invest in something uh, beyond shoes and bags I know we all love shoes and bags but something beyond that that will take you years and years and years ahead I suggest you try out uh, that class and I'll probably put um, maybe I'll put Angela's uh, email also in my description box if you want to contact her and find out when the next course will be so thank you guys for watching I hope I'm in focus because I've been shooting this video ah, thanks for watching